Uh, hi guys and welcome to the stock data video. In this video, I'm going to cover two click keywords, qualify and unqualify. First, I will provide a quick definition of these two terms. We will then build a toy example in click sense and see these two terms in action. So let's get started. The qualify statement is used for switching on the qualification of field names. That is, field names will get the table name as a prefix. So for example, if we have a table called orders, we can retrieve the data from this table in two ways. Here is one way without the table prefix. And here is another way with the prefix. Right. So this was a simple example using SQL to pull data from a database. But what are the implications in ClickSense? And what about the unqualify statement? Time for a toy example. So say we have two tables, order and shipment, that track luxury Swiss watches. The order table has three rows for three watch brands and has four columns. Order ID, product ID, product name and quantity. Now our shipment table contains identical columns, but the data is based on shipments of watches. Our management wishes to see details of orders and shipments in one row, like so. So how do we implement this in Click? So let's log into Click and first load our orders Excel sheet. Let's put these columns into a table. As you can see, we are not using the qualify statement. Let's see what happens. Now I will go into the data load editor and add the qualify statement like so. It is important to note that this qualification will be made for all fields loaded after the qualify statement. Now let's go back and create the table again and see what happens. We see a prefix and it is sheet 1. So where did this come from? It came from here, the worksheet of my Excel file. So in this case, sheet 1 is not very intuitive. So let's give the query another name, like so. And let's try again. This time we can see that the column is prefixed with a table name. This is pretty useful from a readability point of view. And since I can clearly see that these fields belong to the order table, that helps. Right, now let's add our second table, shipments, and see what happens. Let's leave the qualify statement as is and add a label for the shipment data, like so. Now I will add my order and shipment columns side by side and let's see what happens. What I want is an inner join on the product IDs, but what is happening is a Cartesian product. This is not what we want. The reason this is happening is because of the prefixed name, there is no common column. So instead of orders.productID and shipments.productID, we want product ID in either table. And this is achieved via the unqualify statement. And we put the statement here. So what we have is a left outer join on the product ID. We see all three products with orders and just two products with shipment records. Ok guys, feel free to play with the unqualify on other column names and see what happens. So this brings us to the end of the video. I would love to hear what you thought of this video, so a thumbs up or thumbs down would be appreciated. And please do not forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks very much.